Hello Jane, um, thank you very much for your video, I really enjoyed that, it was good fun. Um, so, in answer to your, your questions, um, first of all, yes, the, you, you mentioned the technical creation of these videos, I think you're onto a winner there, um, it is relatively easy to create YouTube videos on a number of devices, though interestingly this is the second go I've had at this, third go actually, uh, the first Certainly the second one fell over because my microphone kept cutting out intermittently, so it's not just a complete given. But you can create it on desktop machines, you can create them on um, on tablets, I would expect. Um, so yes, I think they are a good way to quick, create quick and dirty videos. The next one was about, you had some concerns about access and potentially accessibility. Um, access, I don't think you need to worry too much about this. Um, I think most tablets, even if they're not going to be flash enabled, would have um, YouTube um, app on there, and I, I, or you can give instructions on how to install that. Um, and I think YouTube's going to be one of the best ways to deliver video cross-platform. In terms of the accessibility bit, are you going to create um, subtitles for all of these videos? Probably not, but you might want to um, use these videos to expand on some other form of delivery. Security and privacy, this is a big one um, when creating YouTube videos. Unlisted, yes, it does give you the option of um, creating a video and um, only those people with a link. For me, that's as good as sending email and someone a PDF. They could email that PDF on, onto somebody else and then it could, uh, it could propagate after that point. It's slightly more concerning in that it's a lot easier for this um, thing to get sent around. You would probably want to make sure that people couldn't embed these videos elsewhere. Um, but it very much depends on what you're using these for. Um, but unlisted, I think, is, is a reasonable compromise. Um, is there any policy around these videos, around using YouTube in this way? No, there is some, there's some policy about using third-party third sites. This clearly isn't one of those, um, as it falls under the, the Google family of tools. Um, I'll pass this on to Richard and the rest of the team, see if he's got any input on there. But I don't think you're going to find a blanket um, position that says you cannot do this. In fact, this is something we've been encouraging people to do for a while. So um, I think you should be okay. As long as you consider the use cases which will inform the policy. So obviously, if this is for personalized individual feedback, then um, you you might want to control and restrict your use of video. Whereas if this is for um, general module introductions, then I think it might be less onerous or less um, less concerning. Um, and then the final thing that I thought you need to will want to consider is how to deliver and what the benefits of this are. And I think this is where you are going to put your most efforts in this. Um, it ties into use cases, obviously. Um, I think there's an interesting thing here in that, you know, one of the reasons I've got all these post-it notes is first time I just clicked record on this um, and, and started trying to come up with something coherent, I just garbled for about a minute and a half and then had to stop, so I, I, I've come up with my own little hackneyed technique, um, as I'm sure you are aware. Um, <coughs> Though, having seen some of your guys delivering a very quick piece to camera module intro, I remember Enrique did one, I think you will be able to do a really good job of this. So I think this could be really exciting, Jay. Um, I wish you all the best with it. Um, I shall ask the rest of the team if they've got any thoughts on this. Um, and, yeah, thanks very much. Let us know how it goes. Okay, bye-bye.